How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining me on my small engine repair channel. Today's project is on this uh, Toro Recycler 22 inch uh, self propelled push mower, push mower with a uh, Toro, uh, sorry, with a Honda GSV 190 engine on it. And the problem the uh, customer has having with it is just that the uh, self propel is not working. So let's take a look and see if we can figure it out. Alright guys, so uh, the uh, couple of obvious um, starting points when you have a, a mower where the self propel does not work. Uh, the first place I'm going to look at is typically the cable, especially if your mower is being left outside because a lot of times these cables will get water down inside the sheathing and you start to rust the cable and then it gets really stiff to try and pull up the handle and then it would actually just cause this cable to snap it rusts and snaps on the inside as the uh, tension builds up so first thing i'll do is check this cable and right off the hop there actually is zero resistance so the cable is moving in and out so it is possible that the cable is snapped i look down on the other end and that cable is moving up and down and that doesn't concern me so much but um, if the cable was snapped uh, I would say that that probably wouldn't be moving up and down like that so I don't think the cable is snapped the next thing I would do is to uh, take a look at the belt on the underside and so I'm gonna lift this mower with the carburetor side up and I'm gonna check up and underneath here. And so I do see that the belt is still on and the uh, pulley here from the on the drive shaft. The belt seems super loose though. So I don't know if the belt is broken. It's not pulling all the way out, so I don't think the belt is broken, but the belt might be actually disconnected from the front side pulley. And I'm not sure we're going to be able to see that. Especially with how dark it is here. And so I think what we're going to have to do is take off the top cover to get a better look at the pulley on the front end on the transmission side. All right, I just have the mower tilted up and uh, there are two bolts. I've already removed them that you have to remove 10 millimeters. There's one back there and there's one right there. So I've removed those. Now the top cover should come off and expose the belt and pulley. All right, so here is the pulley and I see no belt and look there's where the belt is so there's definitely our problem now let's take a look at what caused this look at all the crud and build up underneath here like the, there needs to be a little bit of maintenance done on these things guys um, now this mower gets used a lot. It is being used by a, a commercial landscaper um, just for edges and um, around yards and stuff where you can't get the big machines in. So I know it gets a lot of use, but this is a very simple fix and very easy to prevent by just taking this cover off once a season or if you're using it commercially, you know, once every month or so clean all the grass clippings and crap out of here uh, and that should keep uh, your belt attached and keep this mower in working condition. So let's clean this all out and uh, reattach that belt and see uh, what we get.
Now to get the belt back on, all I had to do, guys, was to remove these three Robertson screws. Take this cover and kind of fold it over because it's still attached right here to the cable. And then I just reinserted the belt around the pulley. Okay, and now it's back inserted because I put the cover back on with the three screws. Okay, so uh, testing the tension here, there's definitely much more tension than there was before. That cable you can see pulls on that assembly and then tightens the belt. Um, I'd like to see it just a little bit tighter. So to tighten this uh, tension up a little bit, what you need to do is just loosen the 7 16 uh, nut and then pull the whole cable sheathing in this assembly, the holder, pull it down a little bit so it provides a little bit more tension. So that's what I'll do next. All right, so just loosen that off a little bit so you get rid of the tension there. Now this is a little tricky. I probably won't be able to do this one-handed, but you pretty much have to hold this bracket and Oh, I guess I can do it one-handed. So you don't need much. So just adjust a little bit. And tighten it back down. And then retest the tension on the handlebar. Okay. I'd say I probably went a little too far with it. Probably doesn't need to be quite that tight because you don't want to have the, have to have the user put too much pressure. So probably back it off just a little bit and then I'll retest it. So everything's back together. Let's uh, give it a whirl. Gotta put the choke on first. Alright, so there you have it guys, uh, one fixed up lawnmower uh, self-propelled system. So uh, hopefully this was uh, helpful and informative for you guys. Uh, if so, please show me a little love and smash the like button down below. And if you're not a subscriber and you like this kind of stuff, please consider doing so. That really helps me out on the channel. So till our next project, take care.